Hi guys, so I'm back. I am here for my weigh-in. So I am below my weight category by one kilo. Um, that's good, so I want to eat a little bit. Uh, it's better to be lower than to be above and have to do the other weight category because it's five kg up. I am excited for my competition. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do. I'm hoping for the best. I mean, I put all the work in, I trained enough, and this is just like a real professional competition. But it's about to go in, hold on. So it's starting to rain a little. I'm walking to my car. Um, yeah, so I'm entering a judo competition and um, I did all the hard work. I trained as much as I could and I'm hoping for the best. I mean, hopefully we get a medal. Now that I am in the shape, I am starving because I ate my last meal at 10 this morning because the weigh-in's at 4 p.m. the next day. And uh, yeah, I because this morning I woke up and I weighed myself with my work clothes on. Without my work clothes on, I was still like 56.7 with my work clothes, I was 57.3 and the weight category is 57, the one I'm going for. And if I go higher than that, then what ended up happening would be, I will have to go to the 60 kg, 63 kg class, which no, I don't want to. I want to stay my weight. Um, I have a, I'll, I'll have a five kg disadvantage then. So uh, yeah, weighing all done. Let's eat a donut. Safe and dry in my car. Um, I have a donut here, which I'm gonna eat in a bit. Um, yeah, so I decided to do this competition uh, just because my knee is feeling relatively better. It's not 100% yet. If it bends the wrong way or if I slide it too quickly, it will hurt, but it heals like, it will hurt quick and it will go away within like 30 seconds. So yeah, uh, I just want to do this just for myself. Um, I just wanted to prove myself that I could do it again. And um, I don't know, it's just more like for my mental state too. But uh, who doesn't want to win? I mean, I have that mentality. I'm the type of person who wants to win. They want to try and win. I mean, like I said, my goal is a medal, hopefully gold. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm competing against like people who've been doing this since they were kids. I've only been, judo been doing judo for two years at my old age of... Um, <laughs> I'm 28 now, so I've been doing it for since I was 26. Uh, yeah, and I've been doing it on and off again, and um, just something to prove to myself that you can be any age, and you can still compete in sport and do relatively well. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. So results are in for day one. I came fourth, very close to getting bronze medal, but. I am not disappointed, I'm very happy. I mean, I'm playing with national team people and I only started judo for like not that long. So for me to be on the same place with them, I mean, they they just have the better technique. They just have better experience and uh, for experience. So it's day two and let's see how we do with group competition. Hey guys, so this is like two days after the judo competition and I have something to show you guys. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Ta-da! And we got the silver medal. We did it. We did it. We set out for what we wanted to do and I am so happy and overjoyed with the results. Um, and it was something the reason why I just like I uh, it it just feels like a weight off my shoulders because um I didn't realize coming into the competition that I actually put so much pressure on myself and it was just to prove because I just came from two uh, previous competitions which I lost and I needed to prove to myself and I wanted to prove to you know my coach my team that. I can still fight, you know, I'm not, I'm not weak, and they don't think I'm weak, but just me, like, mentally, like, after the injury, like, I don't like having things that limit me from doing what I want to do, I don't like feeling like I'm useless, and that's what I've covered in the previous video, that, like, I don't like feeling that, like, 
I want to I wanna spar, but I can't spar 100% because this is limiting me from doing it. And me entering the competition, and for me, I didn't even, I wasn't even hoping for gold so much. I just wanted any medal. And, you know, we got silver, and that's more than I could ask for. Um, so I'm so happy with, with the results, and I'm so happy that I could finally show that I can do it, you know. And it's it's just it it really it's really just really um really healed my mental state to a degree. Now, talking about my knee, you know, I'm not one hundred percent recovered. This has only been three months. You know, even the doctor said it will take four to six months for it to heal that you can finally come back to play sports fully again and you know this is me being impatient i know i'm just this is the worst habit i have i'm super impatient i i don't like you know i want it to heal as quickly as possible i want to come back to play sports as quickly as possible and that's such a bad habit because i risk injuring it even more which is what happened in the two weak mark of this injury actually i went back to do judo and it got worse um yeah so i i'm trying i'm really trying to be as patient as i can you know i want to go back to to playing like full on again like and the problem is and i i told my coach and i told my friends this um i'm scared uh right now my biggest issue i have this mental block that I am scared like I'm scared because I'm scared that something's gonna happen to my knee again um, I'm scared that my knee is gonna you know it's gonna fall out on me um, and even with the gold medal match where we won silver I remember right before I went on the mat to my opponent I was terrified i was so scared and i told myself i said to myself in my mind i said i'm scared like i am so scared and because i'm scared that something was going to happen to my knee um and you know even today in judo practice i didn't feel comfortable doing sparring today because i was just scared and and i know the reason that i'm scared is because i haven't healed 100 percent but um, I, I, I hope this doesn't happen when I heal six months later. I hope I can get through this mental block because even, you know, today it's not healed fully 100% yet. I, it still hurts a little bit, but I can go back to running now. I can finally do sports again pretty well. But um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on that condition. But I mean, yeah, we, we won and I'm happy. I mean, it's su such a great gift for, for the end of the year. Such a great birthday gift for me. You know, my birthday is on December, and um, I hope things only get better from here. You know, I I've been I I I got so much motivation from from just the whole experience. It was such a fun experience. Um, really looking forward to play more and getting getting even better, sharing experiences with other guys, and uh, yeah. Um, so. I, I know I dragged this on a bit, but you know I wanted to be as real as possible with you guys. I wanted to share my emotions, and uh, yeah, I hope you like this video, and I will see you in the next one.